five points and they're going to be taking on the team in seventh spot, Winston Hills, and they are on five points. They are a team that's rather decimated, lots of injuries and the odd player suspended as well. A few have had to back up from the reserve grade, the reserve grade match which has just finished in favour of Kenthurst. They had a 2-0, 2-1 victory, a late consolation goal from Winston Hills, but it was 2-1 to Kenthurst in the reserve grade match. And our match officials for this one, Blake Eastwood, our referee, our assistants, Bethany Vallis and Ethan Meir, just with our captains, Thomas Geeky for Kenthurst in the red and white, and the man they call the big red, Luke Madalina, in the number 10 jersey for Winston Hills. Just completing the final formalities. A match which is important for Kenthurst. Kenthurst, as I said, in second spot. Their premiership ambitions are perhaps out of their own hands now. They're in the hands of Kellyville Colts. Kellyville Colts on 27 points. Kenthurst on 25. But Kenthurst can only do their bit today. They must win here today to keep the pressure on as far as the Premiership is concerned. We will be taking you through the lineups, but we are about to have kickoff. It will be Winston Hills running from right to left in the orange top, black shorts and black socks. Thanks for your company from Valentine Sports Park. Remember, leave your comments throughout, spread the live stream, share the news of the latest match of the round in the Hills Premier League. Just about ready to get our round 12 match of the round underway. We're at the business end of the 2020 Hills Premier League season. And it will be Winston Hills running from right to left. And Luke Madalina kicking us off underway here at VSP. And Winston Hills, I speak about the makeshift side that Warren Dreenan has had to put out today. Five regular first-teamers unavailable today. And so he features a lot of players backing up from the reserve grade. Trent Drenan was one of those. He's in goals. The back four, Jiro Shibata, Joel Craig, Stephen Bonich, who's going to get a touch here at a central defence. And on the left side of the back four is Dongmin Park. The midfield trio, a new-look midfield trio, a lot of youth in that in the midfield. Jacob Ayub, Liam Maguire, and Josh Maggio. And then it's a front three of Matt Drenan, Luke Madalina, as Eddie Rinaldi tries to test them here. Looking to link it up with Leroy. Winston Hills able to deal with that. So that front three again for Winston Hills. Matt Drenan on the right. Luke Madalina through the middle. And on the left, Asama Idris. That's the starting lineup for Winston Hills. As for Kenthurst, Graham Forbes, who features in the lineup today. As Eddie Rinaldi looks to get it in. Looking to clear it there is Jacob Ayub out of that midfield. Geeky now combines down that left hand side with Blair Smith. We'll take you through the Kenthurst lineup as soon as we get a momentary pause in play. But it's Geeky on the attack, looking to whip it into the near post. Craig deals with it in the first instance. And he's going to go over the byline. So that Kenthurst side, it will be Alex Frost between the sticks. It's been terrific for Graham Forbes' side this year. The back four, Johnny Ekerhoff, Russell Farrell, Michael Thornton, and Thomas Geeky. The midfield trio are Graham Forbes, Corey Crittenden, and Ryan Fossili. And it's a front three of Matt Leroy, Eddie Rinaldi and the youngster, the 17-year-old in the number 17 jersey, Blair Smith, who shapes up on the left side. It is an early set piece here for Michael Thornton. Two and a half minutes into this round 12 match and he shapes it up towards Forbes. Gets the header and he forces the first goalkeeper intervention from Trent Drenan. Here is Edris looking to switch the play out to Matt Dreenan. Winston Hills leading scorer. They have been struggling to put the ball in the back of the net this season. Last year's grand finalists. It was these two who met in the grand final for the 20, 
2019 season. Ken Hurst winning out on that occasion. And now it's a chance for Forbes, who's going to try and link it through to Leroy. Looking to shape it across there. Nice little bit of work there from Forbes, trying to get it through to Matt Leroy. Now it's Shibata, into the feet it goes, into that midfield. Over on that left-hand side, Thomas Geeky. Now Thornton, the pressure coming early from Kenthurst. As I said, they beat Winston Hills, 5-1 in last year's grand final. And there, certainly a very different look. Winston Hill side this year. Warren Drenan, the coach, coming in for his first season in charge of the first team. Just brought over his two boys, goalkeeper Trent Drenan, and on that right side, Warren Drenan. Now it's Forbes. Happy to lay it all the way back to Alex Frost. We featured him in a couple of matches that are around already. He was superb back in the opening round of the season against Castle Hill United. Nil all draw on that occasion. And he's geeky, looking to combine now with Rinaldi. And he forces Drenan into a save, a comfortable save for the keeper. As I said, he's backing up from playing in the reserve grade side. He was superb there. Produced a number of outstanding saves. Still couldn't stop Kent Hurst from picking up the three points. And it's Kent Hurst who are on the front foot here. The Bush boys looking to build it up. As I said in the opener, running out of midfield there is Fasili. Ryan Fasili just about keeps that one in, but only to the advantage of the keeper in Drenan. 25 points for Kent Hurst. They come into this two points behind Kellyville Colts. But Kellyville Colts have four games remaining, including today's match against Borkham Hills at 5 p.m. Here's Edris getting Dongmin Park involved down the left-hand side. Now he looks into Maguire. It's going to be a free kick here. One of those trio of youngsters in that midfield and it's given Winston Hills an early set piece opportunity seventh minute here at VSP and it's going to be Luke Madalena yet to hit the back of the net for the first team in the 2020 rebooted campaign he's got the captain role today in the absence of Peter Henry and he goes for goal it's too close to the keeper. Comfortable in the end for Alex Frost. Dominion Park read that one well. going over the byline so it will be a chance here for Kent Hurst just to set it up seven minutes have elapsed thanks for your company on the Hills Football Premier League Facebook page a wonderful initiative from the Hills Association 2020 rebooted campaign all our match of the rounds live streamed the weekly edition showcasing the quality of the Hills Premier League and it's been a terrific contest still plenty to come in the remaining rounds of the season. As I mentioned, the Kellyville Colts, they're currently in pole position with four games remaining. They've got a two-point advantage with one game in hand on Kent Hurst. So Kent Hurst, if they win their remaining three games, we've got, obviously, Winston Hills today, 
next Sunday. The big match of the round against the Kellyville Colts. Round 13 match of the round. And then in the final round, they've got Borkham Hills away. They need to win all three of those games. That'll take them up to 34 points, and they would need Colts to drop a couple of matches. They obviously have the opportunity to knock off Colts next week. First and foremost, though, the task is to get the job done here today. Certainly coming to this as favourites, but Winston Hills, they've got a young side. Nothing to lose here today. They can't make the finals. It's a good opportunity to blood some youngsters. We've got that trio in the midfield, as I mentioned. Jacob Ayub, Josh Maggio, who's gone across to take this set piece. The other one's Liam Maguire. Maggio looks to hit the feet here of Madalena. In it comes from Drenan. Man can't test Frost there. Now it's Fusili. He can look to link it up down the right, but it's cut out by Dongmin Park. Now it's given up by Idris. A battle in the midfield here. Who can come away with it? Still a contested ball, and it's Dongmin Park who brings it under control. Now Craig looks to hit the Feet of Madalena, working well. Farrell does well, but in trying to get that back to his keeper, he's giving away a corner. But he's going to be a set piece here too. Winston Hills, they are the nominal home side. Of course, all our matches of the round are featured here at Valentine Sports Park. Winston Hills are the home side in this match. And they've got a chance now. 11 minutes into this game. It's Edris who can look to... Shibata makes the run to the near post. Frost with a double-fisted pump away. Only as far as Josh Maggio. Now it's Leroy who can look to go quickly. Was he fouled? Yes, he was. Working back there was... The midfielder, you know, you giving away that foul. Now it's Idris. He can look to go past one and two. But then it was Forbes, the experienced former NPL player. A career he had in the National Premier League in New South Wales. Manly United, Bonnery White Eagles, Blacktown City. Now he's got the coach's role here. Kent Hurst. Doing a wonderful job, this club that's had so much success over the past decades. Multiple championships, multiple premierships. They're still in contention for the premiership in the 2020 campaign. They have to do their bit today and hope that there's a slip up or two from the Kellyville Colts. Russell Farrell. He's got himself. Three goals since joining the club from the National Premier Leagues this year. So who spent last year at Dulwich Hill, New South Wales MPL 3, an experienced MPL player. Russell Farrell, great addition to this Kenthurst side. Other defenders. And Johnny Ekov's also come in from the MPL. It's Forbes there trying to feed the run of Crittenden. and one of those midfielders who loves to get forward get himself into the box he's managed to bag four so far for the season it's certainly been Kenthurst on the front foot in the early going but they've not really been able to test Renan too often here Here's Johnny Yekoff. I mentioned he's another player that stepped out of the NPL. New South Wales was at Hawkesbury 
City last year. MPL 3, the player on the near touchline. Number 44, jersey for Kent Hurst. Jimmy Ekerhoff. Nice ball from Thornton into the midfield. For Silly now. Looks at that straight ball for the run of Leroy. A couple of neat touches in the early going from Sama Idris. And Joel Craig looks down the line. Could have quite link it there with Madalena. Certainly a good option for Winston Hills. As they look to build out and hit the number 10. Captain today. Mentioned no Peter Henry. One of five players. First team regulars out for Warren Drenan. Riley Heaton, he's out for the season with an Achilles. Peter Henry's out today with a hip injury. Hopefully for Winston Hills back next week. The skipper. And here is Matt Drenan. Driving at the Kenthurst defence, and it's Thornton who sticks to his duties there. Shuffles across, deals with the Winston Hills right sided attacker. Another one currently nursing an injury, Jeremy Caruana. He's got a broken finger. Matt Luttringer. He's away as well. It's Madalena. Gets to it ahead of Farrell. Can't test the keeper though. Comfortable for Frost. That one came up too quickly. Ball for Silly. Hit him on the arm. So it's going to be a free kick here to Winston Hills. So four players. Three players out with injury. Matt Luttrigger's away as well, and Mohamed Karoma's out suspended for this one. So five players unavailable to Warren Drenan. Stephen Bonny choose. On the ball here is one of those players who's come in. Riley Heaton. Last time we had Winston Hills featured in the match of the round, it was Riley Heaton and Joel Craig in the centre of defence. Stephen Bonich. He's in today. This time it's Farrell hitting the feet of Ekerhoff. Thornton, who starts today in the centre of defence. Such an experienced Bush boy. Bush boy junior. 20 years here at the club. It's Graham Forbes stepping into midfield in the absence today of Luke Rudenberg. So Luke Rudenberg, the talisman who sits at the base of the midfield. He's missing today for Graham Forbes with a suspension. Got a yellow card on Wednesday night in a catch-up game. And here's a chance now for Matt Drenan, who's in. This Geeky just hesitated. Geeky responded well, though. Now he gets him a chance to build it out. Catch-up game against the inform Rouse Hill Rams. Second half goal from Corey Crittenden was the difference in that match. A 1-0 victory on Wednesday night for Kent Hurst. Now it's at the feet of Smith. Blair Smith, chance to drive. Gets a second opportunity now to spit it out to Ekerhoff. And he goes near post. And he forces Drenan into a good save. Sharp down to his left. It was neat work from the youngster in Blair Smith. Ekerhoff took that one on first time, went near post. And he's earned to corner. Rinaldi, header away. He's going to find Maguire. Working back though is Facili. Rinaldi, 
Rinaldi calls for it. Back out on this right-hand side. Player in hot form. Leading goal scorer in the competition. And he lays one through here. A chance for Farrell. And he struck the near post. Went first time on the left foot. Very cultured central defender. Seen him carrying the ball forward throughout the season. Mentioned that he's got himself three goals already. And he almost made it four there. Took that one on first time with the left foot. And that was the post that came to the rescue for Winston Hills. Ronaldo's going to put the pressure here on Drenan. It's going to be a busy afternoon for the goalkeeper, the young goalkeeper. Who, as I said, came across with his father, the coach, and his brother from Pendle Hill. They had a bit of success in Champions of Champions a few years back in the under-18s. Winston Hill certainly going through a bit of a re rebuilding phase after a number of players left him at the end of last season. And here's Leroy. He's in the box now. And he can't get his right foot attempt under the crossbar. Got the better side of Donglin Park there. It's been a bit dry for Matt Leroy as far as the goals are concerned. Last time we had and Hurst featured in the match of the round, back in round four. Coming to that one, scoring two in two. He hasn't been able to hit the back of the net since then. So he's certainly looking to get some form ahead of what looks to be a fin another finals campaign for this side that's had so much success over the years. Whether they go into it as the Premiers or second place side, likelihood that they will be playing postseason football finals and Leroy is certainly one player that they want to be featuring in fine form come the finals time he's Ekahov Go, 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 go. Now it's Fasili. He drives past Ayub. And now he looks to drive past Craig. Into the box he goes. Fasili. And it was good defending there from Bonjic. Maybe Ryan Fasili may have taken that one on. Look to play the unselfish option inside to Rinaldi. And you can't fault him for that. But Bonjic had Eddie Rinaldi marked tightly there. Here's Maggio giving it away now to Smith. He's got... Crittenden and Rinaldi through the middle. Rinaldi, can he make it nine? Of course he can. He punches it past the keeper for the opening goal. On 22 minutes, Eddie Rinaldi makes it nine for the season. And he opens the scoring here. It is Kenthurst to take the lead. Rinaldi and Crittenden were the two players driving out of midfield and could have been either of them as the Winston Hills defence opened up. 1-0 it is. Rinaldi on 22, makes it 9 for the 2020 campaign. And he certainly takes a stranglehold on the golden boot. It's a tight race. There are players behind him, so today might be an opportunity to keep that hot form going. And he's opened it in the right way, a goal within the opening quarter of the match. Ken Hurst lead this one by one goal to nil. I mentioned that golden boot race. We've got Hamish Callahan on seven, along with Charlie Jones of Castle Hill United, Hamish Callahan of Kellyville Colts. They're both on seven. Got a couple of players also on six, both from the Castle Hill. RSL Rockets, Ethan Desange, and Sam Bingen. And another Rockets player in Sam Hamilton. He's got five as well. There's another two players on five in Reese Idale of Colts and Peter Checker of Kenthurst. 
Both on five. Checkers not available today. One of a number of players missing for this Kenthurst side. Luke Grunenberg I mentioned earlier. Now it's a nice ball in behind. Leroy's behind here. Chance for Leroy. And he went near post. He's on that right foot again. This time it was Rinaldi feeding him. Chance to make it 2-0. And he scuffed his shot wide. So no Rudenberg. Checker out injured. Also, Jordan Bonello. Fortunately for him, the last time we did have him featured here at, on Match of the Round it was his last game of the season. His ankle injury flared up and he had to have surgery again. So Jordan Bonello has been missing since that round four match. A big loss for Graham Forbes. And the other one missing today is Andrew Lutrigo. We're hoping for the Lutrigo derby today, but both Matt and Andy are away today. So neither featured in our round 12 match of the round on the Hills Football Premier League Facebook page. Thanks for your company, Tony Tanous, in commentary with you. I'm here with the team from Spot On Video, our producer Gary, the man behind the camera, Brendan, doing a wonderful job as always. Just past the midway point. 1 0 it is to Kenthurst. Now it's for Silly. He's finding a bit of space between the lines. Crittenden does well to recycle it for Kenthurst. Now Geek can spit it out to that left-hand side to the youngster in Smith. He's got three options in the middle. Crittenden couldn't keep it alive. Now Edris can come away with it. Going at the Kenthurst defence. Was he fouled? Yes, he was. Eventually it was Forbes who gave away the foul. Blake Eastwood on the spot to adjudicate in the favour of Winston Hills. 20 minutes remain in this opening half. It's been a nice open fixture so far. The Bears celebrating their 50th anniversary. They'd be celebrating after this free kick. It's Don Min Park. He shapes this one up towards Madalena. Forbes so strong in the air. Deals with that one. Gave away the free kick, but he made sure. Did the right thing defensively by winning that header. Took on the responsibility. Such an experienced campaigner. Frost with excellent feet to find. Leroy, what a piece of distribution that was. Speaking of distribution, what about that ball from Rinaldi? He switches it out to Smith, who can drive inside. Vasili's the target, and it was Craig who stuck to his defensive duties, eventually combining with Shibata to clear. Rinaldi, the only goal scorer on 22 minutes so far is Farrell. Speak about his cultured ability to carry the ball out of central defence. We've seen that throughout the season. That time he couldn't keep his shot down. Mentioned that table earlier on that. Battle for the Premiership, Colts on 27, Kenthurst on 25, but equally a great battle it is for positions three and four, the final two spots in the finals. Currently, Castle Hill Rockets on 19 points. Been in great form and big win last Saturday against his Kenthurst side. As Leroy, this time, can he find the back of the net? Again, he finds the side netting. Three opportunities on that right foot. speak about that lack of goals over the last month and a half and you can see that the confidence not quite there to hit the back of the net maybe it's a case of if he finds one I'll start to come the player they do need 
to be hitting the back of the net. Game they have dominated so far. Only one goal to show for it. East Thornton. Looks to hit the feet now of Crittenden. See that reverse ball attempt. Rinaldi was the target. Maguire trying to drive through the midfield. It's Forbes and Facilli doubling up there. Into the feet now it goes. Rinaldi laying it back to Forbes. He can just spit it out to Farrell. Getting their fullbacks high here through Ekerhoff. The one two combination, a little bit too heavy there from Facilli. And it breaks down. The right idea there. Farrell gives him a pat on the back, encouraging him. Play has moved up in the pecking order with no Luttrigger available today. Been doing a really good job in the reserve grade side as Ryan Facilli getting his opportunity in the starting 11 today. Looking to make an impression. Then. Now for Silly. Forbes is going to get on the end of this. Leroy's the target. Chance to go here at Dongmin Park. Leroy looks to whip this one in. A nice shape on that. Shibata deals with it well. And Edris can look to carry this forward with a switch of play. Only to the favour of Geeky. Now Crittenden into Rinaldi he goes. Playing in the number nine role. And Rinaldi gets this one on target. And he forces an excellent save there. Drenan sharp down to his right. Rinaldi's confidence is up. Took that one up from outside the box. Playing in that nine role. Happy to drop off. Showing his qualities from outside. Here he is. And he shows quality over the dead ball. One, two with Leroy. And now Rinaldi. This time he can't get a pass, Shibata. Couldn't quite keep it in on that far side. Matt Drenan. In the 31st minute here at Valentine Sports Park, it's round 12 of the Hills football Premier League season. We're at the pointy end. Of this shortened season, the COVID disruptions, of course, it's been terrific to be able to get the football season going at the beginning of July. We're now in spring at the beginning of September. Two months of football already. Game's coming thick and fast. And here's Dongwin Park couldn't quite link it there with Madalena. So they tried to get the counter attack going, but we're now in the spring season beautiful spring day here at VSP wonderful had a bit of rain around Sydney yesterday it's cleared up today for a beautiful afternoon wonderful conditions for football summer not far around the corner of course summer football big initiative from Hills Football Association as Forbes gives away a free kick there for a foul on Edris. Summer comp .hills football .com .au is the place to go. Turn mates into teammates. It starts on Wednesday the 28th. The week beginning the Wednesday the 28th. Ten rounds. The opportunity to be featured juniors and seniors. Chatting to a few friends around the hills district this week they're all been getting their teams in picking their jerseys picking their squads I've been helping out my young fella who's putting himself together a team in the under 14s for different location Holland Reserve Bella Vista Public Caddy's Creek and Arnold Reserve in Kellyville they're the four spots and of course you can pick your own strip much debate among the 13 and 14 year olds at school on Monday, they finally settled on the Neratsuri strip, the replica strip of Internazionale, the Inter Milan side. Plenty of terrific strips, great options. So good to be able to continue the Hills 
football season. Hopefully we can keep COVID under control, allowing us to get the 10 week summer season in all the way through to Christmas. They've had a disrupted first half of the 2020 due to COVID. Hopefully we can keep football going in the second half of the calendar year. And now it's Joel Craig, a trail by one goal to nil to Winston Hills. Can they hit back here at the fall of the set piece? It's Idris. They're going to get a second chance here through Ayub. Can they link it up through Maguire? Now it's Idris. Good feet from him. On the left foot he goes. And he forces the save. In the end, Frost got his body behind it. it was neat work in that midfield. Idris has shown good feet in the opening half so far. Forward it goes to Strom Smith. Now looks to go inside. Crittenden's making the run out of midfield. Bonjic deals with that one. Looking lively in the first half is the 17 year old in Blair Smith. Can't miss him with that mop hairstyle. Real live wire in that front third. Certainly made an impression since coming in. Perhaps got his opportunity with no Benello. You might have heard that call from the keeper, Alex Frost. Final product that's been the issue for Kent Hurst. They've certainly created plenty. They've got a 1 0 lead, but their domination, you perhaps disappointed not to have a two or three goal advantage. Certainly, Leroy's had three or four good opportunities himself, and he's given Winston Hills a sniff, but Forbes and Thornton, the two experienced players. Covering that one for Kent Hurst. The Bush boys. Coming forward through Thornton. It's coming from Madalena. Now Rinaldi finds Smith. Nice work from the youngster. Now Rinaldi. Is he going to strike? Can't get the purchase that he wanted. And now Smith. Blocked by Bonjic and the keeper sweeps up. Looks to release to his brother. Quickly shutting him down though was Geeky. Skipper for Kent Hurst. Such an experienced player he is. Now it's Leroy. We can look to that back close. Smith's available. A bit of knock it back out to Ekerhoff. In it goes. Numbers at that back post, but too much on that for Geeky to control. 36 minutes have elapsed here at Valentine Sports Park. It's round 12 of the Hills Premier League. Coming to you live on the Hills Football Premier League Facebook page. As we have every week since the resumption of football. Big one next week, Kent Hurst. Taking on Kellyville Colts. Kent Hurst looked to do the job here today. Said they suffered a shock 6 0 loss last week to the Castle Hill Rockets. They hit back midweek. They're looking to extend their lead here. And it goes from Leroy. Forbes over his head. Just come off of Winston Hills. Player in Donnan Park. It's going to be a throw in high up the pitch for Kenhurst. Featured in the grand final every year since coming into the Hills Association. It was Crittenden there on the end of the Forbes new post flick. Perennial success, as I said. They've been ever present. Hills Association now in their fourth year. Three grand finals in a row. Two championships in the Hills Association. 
Killyville Colts, the other side to have won a Hills Football Association Championship. And those two are certainly one and two at the moment, and it's a good effort there. Forbes hit that one first time. Nice technique. Straight at Drinan, though. Farrell, does he give Idris a sniff here? Idris is in. Now he has a chance to go at Thornton. And Thornton stuck to his duties. Excellent defending there from Michael Thornton. It was Edris. Got the better of Farrell after that slip up. Crittenden makes the run to the right hand side. Waiting for the movement forward from Ekerhov. A little bit telegraphed that move. Broke down in the initial phase and Winston Hills were able to adjust defensively. Here is Maguire. Now Idris. Looking to get the better of Farrell again and he does well to win a free kick. Certainly been one of the bright prospects so far for Winston Hills in this opening half. He's got the orange and black boots to match the strip. Certainly looking the part. The ball at his feet too. Five minutes remain in this opening half. Shibata drawing the foul there from Blair Smith. The Bears trail by one goal to nil. Warren Drenan will be happy with the response since. They've weathered a lot of pressure. Can they hit back? Adelina's the target. Now it's Leroy on the gallop in transition. Can drive at Jacob Ayu. Does well to stick to his duties, just forcing him inside to Forbes. come back down this right hand side breaks down transition moment now Forbes getting it out to Ekerhov into Leroy it goes again it breaks down for Kenthurst and Maguire Joel Craig who does like to break forward out of that central defensive spot fancies himself on the ball you sense big Joel disappointed with that touch He's Rinaldi, as I said, he does love to drop off and set the play up. Here he is spitting it out to Ekerhov. He's got himself to the byline here. Can they connect? Where's that final product? Leroy. And now it's Forbes who hits it first time again. Idris is waiting for the support. Happy to play back to Park. Kabayev has recovered from a long-term injury. Done well there in the midfield. Forbes stuck to his duties. Opposite number, the 2 8 clashing there in the middle of the park. And it's Kent Hurst who can transition through Smith. Bonich and Shibata sticking to the duties. Smith just about keeps this one in. Leroy can go one-on-one -on -one here against Park. Now Rinaldi lays it back out to Ekerhov, who's certainly not shy. Give him half a sniff, and he's going to take the strike. Just enough pressure there from Jacob Ayub to force that one over. And it remains 1-0. Kent Hurst in the red and white. The Bush boys. Certainly been peppering that Trent Drinan. Goal. Hit the side netting a few times. Forced the keeper into a couple of really good saves. One in particular from Ronaldi. Sharp down to his right. In a sense, that'll be the message from Graham Forbes. Remains 1-0 at the break. 
towards that final product. Uh, Extend it before the break. Leroy it is. Well read by Bonich. Now it's Madalena. He's alone against four red and white shirts and he has to hold it up here and wait for some support. He goes all the way back and no choice really. Nothing to hit ahead of him. Bonich now gets it out to Dongmin Park. Now AU. Forbes. Here's Joel Craig. Nice switch out to Madalena. So we approach the final minute of regulation time in the first half. Thanks for your company. Remember, let us know your thoughts. Try and have a look at a couple of those comments at the halftime break. Here's the ball from Dongmin Park. What's impressed you in this first half? Can Kent Hurst keep the pressure on the Colts for the Premiership? Of course, the big match of the round next Sunday. One versus two. Kent Hurst will want to come into that with the three points here. They're on the front foot through Rinaldi. He looks to go across to Smith. And now it's Crittenden. Back to Leroy. I like to keep it alive. Rinaldi with a chance to keep the pressure on. Craig sticking to his defensive duties. They're going to be able to see it out here, Winston Hills, or maybe threatening transition. Edris. Fouled there by Forbes on this near side. Certainly proved the live wire has Osama Edris. Forcing a couple of challenges, late lunges. And that time it's Forbes bringing him to a halt. We are now in stoppage time. Haven't had too many players down with injury. We did have one. The midway point of the half. For Winston Hill. So maybe a couple of minutes to be added on. Certainly got themselves a free kick here. Craig looks to hit this one up to Madalena. Has he got numbers around him? As the ball falls to Kenthurst. Now Crittenden into Rinaldi it goes. The transition's on through Smith. Smith with a touch. And now he's in behind in the box. Bless Smith. And what a save. Excellent work from the keeper. So sharp off his line there. Trent Drenan. Smith looked to be in. And he looked to be punching that one away. But Drenan had other ideas. And he keeps up the good work. Keeps it at 1-0 to Kenthurst in the second minute of additional time. Kenthurst on the front foot with a set piece. Dongmin Park away, only as far as Farrell. It's taken a nice deflection into the path here of Leroy. Player with plenty of futsal pedigree. Now it's Maguire. Can they get a quick counter-attack going in the time that remains? Great feet from the man they call the Big Red. And now he spits it out to the right-hand side. Matrinan's away here. Can he keep it alive? He does test the keeper. Was a good counter-attack there. Comfortable in the end for Frost. There's nice work from Winston Hills. What about the feet from Mad Madalena in the middle? It's been a half which Kent Hurst have dominated. The only goal coming on 22 minutes, the midway point, Eddie Rinaldi. Slotted it past the keeper. But the only goal, Kent Hurst have certainly created plenty of opportunities. Renan's done a wonderful job between the sticks for Winston Hills. Kent Hurst have came into this in second spot on 25 points, looking to do the business. To take a 1 0 lead over Winston Hills into the break. We'll be back after a short break with all the second half action from VSP.
And it is a welcome back to Valentine Sports Park. It's around 12 of the Hills Football Premier League season. And if you've just joined us, it is Kent Hurst in the red and white. They'll be running from right to left in this second period. They take a 1-0 lead into the second half. Curtis of a goal on 22 minutes from the competition's leading scorer in Eddie Rinaldi. And our referee, Blake Eastwood, gets the second half underway. Kent Hurst running, as I said, from right to left. Certainly dominated the first half, created lots of opportunities. Forcing the keeper in Trent Drenan into a couple of special stops. Just kept it at 1-0. He was unable to keep Eddie Rinaldi out when he danced through the middle. Going to get a set piece early on. Chance to apply a bit of pressure. The opening exchanges in this second half. They're going to go new post here. Forced to defending. Jiro Shibata just having a look at it on the field. Doesn't look like there has been any changes at this point. Winston Hills, as I mentioned. Warren Drenan, the coach. Missing five of their regular first-teamers. So plenty of opportunities, and they've acquitted themselves quite well. While Kent has have dominated. They're certainly showing plenty of spirit, the Bears. They're under the pump early on here. Number of set pieces piling up. This one's going to go deeper. To the back post it goes. Madalena deals with it. Now Leroy looks for the knockdown. Forbes on the left foot. And it's a follow-up chance. And it's Blair Smith. The flag's gone up, though, against the youngster. Bethany Vallis on that far side, her assistant. Saw that Blair Smith had drifted into an offside position as Forbes turned and struck that one. Drenan spilt it. Difficult chance for the keeper to... Keep in his grasp. Blair Smith followed it up, but the flag denied him. And it remains 1-0. Kent Hurst coming into this on 25 points in second spot. What a strike it was from Forbes to force the initial save. Smith thought he had his third for the season. This time it's Bonich. Into the feet they go. This time it's given up by Matt Drenan. Now it's out on that right-hand side. Getting forward is Ekahov. And Leroy. Just drifting into an offside position again. Nearest to our official on that far side. Good work by Winston Hills just to keep that line. In the fourth minute of this second period, no change to the score line. Rinaldi the only scorer. Smith's had a goal denied in the second period. And there's Jacob Ayub getting it into the feet of Madalena. Now Edris is very lively in the first half, trying to tee it up for the Winston Hills is leading scorer this season. Thornton combines with the keeper and they play around. It's good work from Shibata to win it high. Now it's Maggio. Now Maguire. Those two youngsters, Josh Maguire and Josh Maggio, sorry, and Liam Maguire are part of the Champions of Champions winning side in 2016 for Winston Hills, the under-17s, along with three players that featured in our match of the round. Back in round eight against the Rouse Hill Rams, Riley Heaton, Peter Henry and Jeremy Caruana, all part of that side. Winston Hill Bears Jr. is a club that is renowned for its promotion of youth. 
and Maggio and Liam Maguire, the latest off that production line. Getting their opportunity now as part of the first team after building their way through the ranks. Here's Farrell, dealt with by Madalena. What a performance from the man they call the Big Red. He's rolled the sleeves up, got the captain's armband. He's doubling up after playing in the reserve grade side. Such is the decimation to the numbers at Winston Hills. Liam McGuire, another of those backing up as is Dongmin Park. No fresh substitutes. All five on the bench, Lachlan Home, David Gretsch, Jeremy Jamison, Jeff Dwyer, and Shannon Dorohy. All of those boys backing up from playing in the reserve grade side. So it's all hands on deck and try and limit the damage. So far, they've done a very good job of that. Thanks for your company on the Hills Football Premier League Facebook page. Tony Tanus in commentary with you. James Goff just being warmed up on that far side for Kent Hurst. We'll keep an eye on that. As Drenan looks to drift this one in towards Madalena, who gets to it ahead of his defender in Ekov. And he tried to shape that one over the keeper in Frost. Couldn't quite get the power on it, but it was a nice counter-attack from the Bears. Nice dink over the top from Drenan. And Madalena mentioned the spirit of his performance so far. Nice turn there from Fasili. And here's a nice touch inside from Smith. Good work from Shibata, the experienced right back for Winston Hills, just dropping in, creating the extra layer of defense in that middle. Forcing Blair Smith away from it. Solid display so far from Graham Forbes in that anchor role in midfield. Of course, no Luke Rudenberg today, so Forbes moving out of defence into midfield. They do have uh, some fresh players on the bench. But they've got Crittenden in behind, and he goes straight at the keeper. He was looking for his fifth of the season. Shook off his defender in Joel Craig, but he couldn't beat Drenan. Now it's Shibata. Into the feet he goes. Maggio with the layoff. Now Edris. So comfortable carrying the ball. Sama Edris. Maguire. Madalena. Couldn't make that one stick. Kenton Hurst are going to get another chance to build through Geeky. The skipper. Nice little bit of combination through the midfield, but eventually a little bit too heavy from Forbes. Now the switch out comes. Pulling that one out of the sky was Drenan. Now Shibata stands this one up towards Maguire. Madalena. Chance to pull it down. In it comes from Dongmin Park. And it's Frost again who looks ever so assured whether it's on the ground, in the air. Certainly speaking to Graham Forbes. Very happy to have a goalkeeper of his quality at this level. Former Sydney FC Academy goalkeeper in Alex Frost. Thanks for your company on the Hills Football Premier League Facebook page. Hey! 
Let us know your thoughts. Will Kent Hurst be able to extend their lead? But the time that remains. Or will it be Winston Hills who hit back? It's Kent Hurst who have the chance from a set piece. They go near post through Leroy. Comfortable though for the keeper. 55 minutes has elapsed. And now it's a counter attack chance for Idris. He's got Drenan available on the right. Dances around Forbes. Too aggressive there from Corey Crittenden. Famous name around these parts. Of course, his dad, Mark Crittenden, the man they call Crito, the coach of Blacktown City in the New South Wales NPL1, the longest serving coach of Blacktown City. If you are tuning in, Mark, all the best in your game this weekend as the ball's drifted in towards Matt Drenan there. Silly turning. Now it's Crittenden. Now Ayub. Spat out by Forbes. Out to Blair on this left hand side. He can drive at Shibata. And he goes for an Aldi. And it was a one touch finish. That was the aim. But he couldn't get it on target. Blair Smith has looked very lively right throughout the afternoon. But an excellent display from the 17 year old. He teed that one up. To Rinaldi. He couldn't finish. Looking to go to double figures on the golden boot ladder. And here's Madalena. Driving forward is Maggio. Farrell happy to tee it back to his keeper. Three games taking place across the Hills Premier League this afternoon. Three other games. Castle Hill Rockets, as I mentioned, they're in third spot. 19 points are taking on the fourth place side in Castle Hill United. who are on 17 points. So an important battle there. Taking place simultaneously. Over Eric Mobs. Also the Rams. I mentioned the form that they've been in. Important game for them. They're just outside the top four with a game in hand. They're on 16 points. They're hosting North Rocks. Team at the bottom of the table. So that's a game that certainly the Rams will feel. They're the favourites for. It's being played simultaneously as well. And then at 5 o'clock, competition leaders, Kellyville Colts, they're hosting Borkham Hills. Forward. Comes the right back in Ekerhov. Again, he can't keep his shot below the crossbar. And it remains 1 0. And it gives us a chance to see our first substitution. It's going to be James Goff. He's going to come on for Ryan Fasili. It's just over half an hour remains. We're also going to see a change made by Warren Drenan. So James Goff has come on for Ryan Fasili. He's gone straight into that attacking midfield position. Certainly we won't miss James in those bright yellow boots. We've also seen a substitution. Shannon Dorahi, an attacker, the number 14 jersey on that far side. Come on for... 17 in Maguire. So let's see what Warren Drenan does tactically here. Story he's come on as an attacker for a midfielder. Looks like Idris has dropped into the midfield. Dora he's gone on that left hand side. Nice little flick. Good combination. Dora already injecting a bit of 
Livewire in that front third. Now it's out with Madalena. They've got numbers in the box. Madalena, who can certainly hit one. His eyes lit up there. He's pulled up a little bit lame. Just stretching out that Achilles or that back of that calf. It's a nice bit of work from Dorahy. Just to add a bit of spark off the bench. Under half an hour remains here at VSP. It's round 12 of the Hills Football Premier League. Thanks for your company. Tony Tanus with you along with the team from Spot On Video. As Kent Hurst come forward down the right-hand side, it's Leroy dancing onto that left foot. Sticking to his defensive duties is Donlin Park. Leroy, can he fashion a cross? Looks to link it. Dorothy working back. Are you happy to lay it down? Idris under pressure from two. And now Rinaldi trying to keep it alive here. Eddie Rinaldi still on his feet. Rinaldi! And he forces the save at that near post. Looked like he was being wrestled at certain points in that build-up. But he stayed on his feet. Credit to him. Got the strike on target. And Renan once again at that near post. The sun drops behind the clouds here at VSP. Two balls on the pitch. Rinaldi goes near post. Chancy for Forbes. Just applying the pressure there was Farrell. And it's been a judge to goal. And it's Ken Hurst who doubled their advantage. Terrific header from Forbes. And it was Farrell bundling that one. Drenan. Not quite able to get a grasp on it. And Farrell with his fourth of the season. Kent Hurst take a 2-0 lead. 62 minutes in here at VSP. And Farrell doubles the lead that was given to them on 22 minutes by Rinaldi. Forbes is going to get the assist for this one. Towering header at that set piece. And it's 2-0 to Kent Hurst. Now pressured by Thornton. Forbes can't connect this time. And it remains 2-0. They've been the team that's asked most of the questions here. Winston Hills have been strong, resolute, decimated side. They've certainly showed plenty of spirit. But they now trail by two goals to nil. Certainly not been without their chances. Madalena's had a couple of half chances. Even in this second half, he's had a header, which is well saved, or too close to the keeper. And he had a strike, which went over the crossbar. Now Rinaldi. He's got nine. He's trying to play provider here. Farrell. Moving all the way forward. Couldn't quite keep that one alive. The flag went up against Leroy on that far side. It's been a terrific afternoon here. Kent Hurst looking to rebound after that 6-0 loss last Saturday. They, of course, had that midweek catch-up game. But they did pick up the three points. But the scenario is that they have to keep the pressure. They have to keep winning. Keep the pressure on. Kellyville Colts. 
Colts in action this afternoon and then they meet here next Sunday. Match of the round. Spread the word. Be sure to be a blockbuster that one. Perhaps the match of the, uh, the match of the season. Kellyville versus Kenthurst. Kenthurst know that they have to pick up the three points next week to keep any hopes of the Premiership alive. And will be on Sunday, 3 p.m. Next Sunday, the 13th of September, here at Valentine Sports Park. Kellyville certainly have the destination within their own hands. As we stand, they are two points atop the league, and they have one extra game to come. So four games left for the Colts, including today's 5 p.m. kickoff at Borkham Hills, against Borkham Hills at home, sorry. And here's Kent Hurst looking to go back atop before that game starts, just to keep a little bit of pressure on. They can only do their bit. They lead by two goals to nil. They will be on 30 points at full time. Sorry, they will be on 28 points at full time. Colts on 27. Lead has ebbed and flowed in the second half of the season. Kenthurst did take the lead, but last week's loss to Rockets. Perhaps an upset, but Rockets have certainly been finishing the season very strong. They end the Rams. Bonich <laughs> looks to hit Dorahi. Down by Eckerhold. Now Lee Roy's got Crittenden driving through the middle. The challenge from Ayub. Back out with Eckerhold, and it was Rinaldi just drifting into an offside position. It's been the story of the second half so far. Kent Hurst, they've scored, but that two or three attacks halted by that offside flag. Way point of this second half, 2 0 it is to Kenthurst. Naldi looking lively. Good work though from Dorahi. Now Idris. Skips past Forbes. Suddenly they've got numbers and they come down this right hand side. Can they get the delivery right here? Geeky, excellent. Getting across. Just tiring here. Matt Drenan, another of those players who's backing up after playing in the resis earlier on. Can't blame him for starting to tire. Big shift this afternoon from many of these Winston Hills boys. Certainly given a very good account of themselves in this match of the round. They will be featured in the final round, match of the round against Castle Hill Rockets. That game in a fortnight to wrap up the regular season. Good work from Dorahi. Just asking the question there of Farrell. His speed certainly has provided a nice little injection, and so has this gentleman in Edris. On he goes, and he forces an excellent save from Alex Frost. It was Osama Edris 
bursting out of that midfield with a nice feed again. And he forced Frost into a super save to his left-hand side. The speed there of Edras, the speed of Dorothy in the initial phase. And it's perhaps one of the best chances for Winston Hills. They can't find the back of the net and it remains 2-0. They've got a chance now over the set piece. In it comes from Shibata. Good shape on that one. Down it goes to Joel Craig. Excellent work from James Goff to quickly charge that one down. Looking to provide a real bit of energy off the bench. He's geeky. Thornton finds Crittenden. He's going to get another chance to build it up. Combining now with Goff. Sticking to his work though is the midfielder Maggio. Good work from the youngster. Not giving Rinaldi too much room there. Less than 20 minutes remain here at VSP. This round 12, Hills Premier League match of the round. Rinaldi's over this one. They scored at the last corner. Can they do the same here? Again, it's Forbes. Such a powerhouse. is so strong. This time his header couldn't direct it towards goals. And 2-0 it remains. We are going to see another substitution. It is going to be David Gretsch. Looks like he's going to be coming on for Dongmin Park, who's had a massive shift here today. Played in the reserve grade side, doubled up here. Gretsch also played in the reserve grade team. So he comes on for the remaining 20 minutes or so. Sun's dropped and temperature's dropping as well. It's been a beautiful afternoon. Certainly for Kent Hurst, they came here knowing that they had to do the job. So far, so good. Just over 15 minutes or so remaining. They lead by two goals to nil. Goals on 22 and 62 via Eddie Rinaldi and Russell Farrell. We've got a chance here from another set piece. Forbes, who's ever so happy to attack in the air. He's been joined by Goff, Farrell, Crittenden. Certainly plenty of ammunition. And Leroy's in swinger. Geeky was a flyer and Drenan. In fact, it was Farrell with that initial attempted header. Thornton pressed. Gets out of it. Some good feet. and happy to knock this one out to Thornton. And now Geeky. Left back. Feeds the left attacker in Blair Smith. It was super for the first 60 or so minutes. Had a goal disallowed early in the second half. Drifted out of the game the last 10 or 15 minutes. Certainly one to keep an eye out on. As we've seen right throughout this Hills Premier League season a lot of young talent Blair Smith another one 
It's caught the eye here this afternoon. Big shift from Madalino. He's just going across to have a chat. We have seen another substitution. Corey Petrov's come on. Johnny Ekerhoff's the player that's made way. Where is it? So Corey Petrov, the second fresh player to come on. Looks like he's going to have a shift out at right back. Versatile player. James Goff applying the pressure. Forcing Craig back. Nice touch there from Ayub. Green Nunn, happy to knock that one back. And suddenly they got numbers, but Thornton snuffed that one out quickly. It's good work. He's had a strong shift as Michael Thornton. Just a consistent, always produces solid display for Kenthurst. Bush boy through and through. Now it's Edris. They've got numbers forward. If they can make a stick here in that final third. In behind goes Dorahi, but the flag's gone up. And it's going to deny him. And it was a nice bit of work. Maggio injecting himself into that front third. And Dorahi has certainly provided a spark. And speed. Offside flags gone up against Leroy. Warren Drenan's used a couple of his substitutes, Dorahi and Gresh. No fresh players. A couple of the boys from the reserve grade backing it up this afternoon. Shabata. Thornton in ahead of Madalena. Now it's out with Goff. Spits it out to the left-hand side for Smith. Happy to exchange with Goff. Patience here from Kenthurst. Can they find the end product? Geeky's cross cut out by Maggio. Kenthurst squeezing high, keeping the pressure on. Leroy waits for the movement forward from Petrov. He gets forward on that right-hand side. Wanted to shape that one towards the knee post. Shabata does well once, twice. Now he's through. Trying to thread it through for Dorahi. It was an important touch again. Michael Thornton getting a foot in there to deny that through ball. Dorahi looked like he was in behind. And here is Madalena. Happy to drop off. No doubt. Just feeling the pinch, having played in that earlier match. And suddenly the ball. Again, it was Dorahi the target. Willing runner. Idris shows a little bit too much of it. Forbes steps in. David Gresh has come on down that left hand side, just trying to inject a little bit in the attack. That stoppage in play is going to give us another substitution. Luke Rudenberg, who's helping out in the dugout on that far side with Brendan Reno. Two famous names. Both the top flight of Australian football. Blair Smith, the player, it comes off, and Tommy Cornick. Going to get his first touch here. Here he is. Corner. He combines with Geeky. Into the feet it goes. Crittenden 
Looks back out to this left-hand side for Cornock. The speed of Petrov helps Crittenden out there. Showing a bit too much of it there was Farrell. Ten minutes to go here at Valentine Sports Park. 2-0 it is to Kenthurst. Looks like Warren Drenan's going to make another substitution here. And he's going to be one of the experienced boys in Jeff Dwyer. He's going to come on for Josh Maggio. Normally a central defender. Looks like he's going to slot straight into the midfield. Into the anchor role in midfield. Experienced player, Jeff Dwyer. Excellent work again from Jacob Ayub. Just to snuff out that raid forward from James Goff. Good sportsmanship from Ayub as well. Just checking on the well-being of Goff. Set piece has proved fruitful in the second half. They're able to double their lead through a set piece. They've got a long throw here. Can they pick up the pieces? Kenthurst. Bush boys looking to make it 3 0. goes with Edris and he's forced a corner here. So it's a chance for Winston Hills just to ping one back. They got a late, late consolation in the reserve grade match. To make the final score 2-1 to Kenthurst, but if they get one here, they've still got time. And they're trying to apply the pressure now. Over it goes, and it it's comfortable in the end for the keeper who looks so assured in dealing with those crosses. Twinnily is to Kenthurst. This time. They raid down the right-hand side through Petrov. Look at the speed. Equally showing his toe was Dorohy. Two speedsters on that far side. Both off the bench. Petrov's looking for his coach in Forbes. Forbes is going to try it! And he's forced a wonderful save. Drenan tipping that one over. And you saw it just bounce up beautifully for Forbes to lash it on the volley. And the keeper pulling off another spectacular save. Keeps it at 2-0 to Kenthurst. Both coaches going to make another change here. Leroy's going to make way for Alex Steinkamp for Kenthurst. And it looks like Luke Maddalena, who's made way. Lachlan Holmes, come on. In the number three jersey for Winston Hills. What a super save that was from Trent, Dena Trent Drenan to deny Graham Forbes. Forbes has got himself an assist. Looking for his third goal there of the season. But credit to the keeper. Still got a chance here now at the set piece. Over Forbes. Drenan again with the punch. So we approach the final five minutes in this round 12 match of the round. Remember, summer football's around the corner. Register your team, turn mates into teammates. 
get your team in, whether that's in the juniors or the seniors, for grounds around the Hills District. Holland Reserve, Bella Vista Public, Caddy's Creek, Arnold Reserve. Competition starts the week of September the 28th. Ten rounds. Summercomp.hillsfootball.com.au is the spot for all the information to register. Choose your strip. Kent Hurst have got a 2 0 lead. They go to the back post. And it's Forbes climbing. And again, it's Drenan. Does a terrific job at that near post. He's had a wonderful afternoon, both in reserve grade and first grade. Certainly a talented keeper. Kept his calm there against the onslaught from Graham Forbes, who's threatening on the ground in the air. It's been excellent the coach of Kenhurst today. They can only do their job, keep the pressure on the Colts. This three points takes them on the live ladder above Kellyville Colts, who start there. Round 12 match against Borkham Hills at Bernie Mullane at 5 p.m. 17 minutes away from kickoff there. Kentonhurst can only do their bit. And they meet here next Sunday in a match of the round. Kellyville know that if they pick up all 12 points, they win the premiership. Seen twists and turns, and flag's gone up here against Dorahi. Winston Hill seeing this one out right to the end. Big effort from Warren Drenan's side. Players going down all over the place. Latest is Jacob Ayub. Two and a half minutes remaining. of regulation time. He's back up on his feet. Continue to trail by two goals to nil. And goals coming in 22 minutes from Eddie Rinaldi. He's ninth of the season to extend his lead. The golden boot race. And then Russell Farrell score popping up for his fourth of the season. In it goes. Not a bad ball that one. Attacking it was Steinkamp, the substitute. Alex Steinkamp is hoping for his first goal in the top grade. This time it's Petrov looking to the back post. Drenan comes again and punches. Keeping his concentration all the way through to the end. 180 minutes for him. Two minutes to go here at VSP. Can Kenhurst get another one? Geeky's chance to supply. It's a nicely shaped ball. And it was Steinkamp attacking it. Defensive work was done by the substituting Gresh. Stuck to his duties. Enough to clear that one. And 2 0 it remains. Just waiting for the ball to come back into play. It's going to be a corner for Kent Hurst. As we tick into the final minute of regulation time. Thanks for your company on the Hills Football Premier League Facebook page. Remember, we're back here next Sunday for the big one. Kenthurst looking to take a 3-0 win into that match. It was Forbes again. Climbing at the back post. Couldn't get it on target. 2-0 it remains. Tony Tanus with you here, along with the team from Spot on Video. Hope you've enjoyed the coverage. Spread the word next Sunday.
game that could have a big say in terms of the final outcome of the Premiership. And of course, the Prelude to the finals campaign. And now it's Rinaldi. Can he go into double figures? Eddie Rinaldi! And he forces the save at the near post. Certainly not an easy keeper to beat. And he produces yet another save there. Trent Renan. How many is that now for the afternoon? Keeper's been in wonderful form. Seen some great displays. Certainly been right up there. As Rinaldi drives into the box. Lace looks to tee it up for Forbes. Sticking to his duties there was the substitute in Lachlan home. Foul given away there by James Goff on Idris. We are into stoppages here at VSP. Blake Eastwood just having a look at his watch. How much more time will be added on? Now Crittenden, chance to play it into the path of Rinaldi, who's alive and away. And Renan, heavy touch in the end from Rinaldi. Chance to go to 10, goes begging. First touch there from Dorothy. Forward he goes. Can't keep it in play on that far side. Certainly Warren Drenan will be pleased with the spirit and effort shown by his boys. A lot of them having to double up. Running on fumes, a few of them. But seeing it all the way through to the end. Kenthurst have 32 in 11 coming into it. So just under three goals a game. And this depleted Winston Hill side have done a terrific job to keep it at two. They lost 6-0 the first time they met. Back in round five. They haven't created too many chances. They've done well to certainly make it difficult. They come forward here through Gresh. Can they find something late on? Dwyer it is. Onto the left foot he goes, the veteran. Trying to inject something off the bench. Jeff Dwyer. All the way back with Drenan. Approaching the fourth minute of additional time. Wasn't a bad ball from Ayub. It's been one of the good performers among many here. And now it's Steinkamp who's through. Into the box he goes. Lays it into the path of Rinaldi and Renan yet again. Another outstanding save, but for him. The score could have been anything today. It's the final action. Of a game in which Kent Hurst knew they had to come here and do the job. And that's exactly what they have done. They've kept the pressure on the Colts. They've come here against Winston Hills and they've won it by two goals to nil. The goal's coming from Eddie Rinaldi on 22 minutes, scoring his ninth of the season. And then it was Russell Farrell doubling it on 62 minutes, picking up the pieces after Graham Forbes had knocked a header towards goal. Trent Renan, certainly the hero for Winston Hills. They put up a spirited display. The keeper had to produce a number of outstanding stops. And he kept showing up. They kept showing up. They certainly didn't drop their heads and they fought all the way to the end. But in the end, it's finished. Kenhurst 2. Winston Hills nil. That wraps up our round 12 match of the round from Valentine Sports Park. A reminder Kent Hurst, they keep the pressure on as far as the Premiership's concerned and that battle will go down to the wire next week. Match of the round, a big one. Kellyville Colts against Kent Hurst. It's the match we've all been waiting for. Will it decide the Premiership? Join us next Sunday, 3 p.m. here at Valentine Sports Park to find out.
Thanks for your company this afternoon, wrapping up a 2-0 victory to Kenthurst over Winston Hills.